Hello everybody, this is Armastus and you're watching Armastus Live and today is a phenomenal day because we're opening Opus 12 Booster Box on a Saturday, which we typically don't do on a Saturday. Um, Saturday, usually I'm out uh, playing with uh, Final Fantasy TCG with a friend, but it's a snow day, it's safer to stay home and because of just everything else, this tier and decided why not open a booster box and why not open an opus 12 booster box of which i've been so i have like two unopened boxes that i've been sitting on for a while uh i want to open at least one and i was super tempted to just do it by myself my little lone lonesome but i'm like no 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 i gotta share this with my peeps we got to share the experience together. So I'm super excited to do that. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you are, if it's snowing in your area, that you're being safe, that you're enjoying yourself, maybe curling up next to a nice uh, warm spot. I don't want to say fireplace because it turns out fireplaces aren't actually really that safe for you. So I guess curling up next to your heater? I don't know. Maybe it is safe. I don't know. Don't, I'm not a health expert. Anyway, uh, I do know what is safe though, is the social distancing, wearing your mask, uh make sure you're all doing that and uh yeah oh links to betterhelp.com in the video description of course my email is also there our is live at gmail.com be sure or life i'm sorry our is life at gmail.com always send me an email with whatever it may be anyway excited about opening this opus 12 stuff uh we've got opus 13 coming up next month stay tuned till tomorrow as well make sure you're subscribed like bell leave feedback appreciate it always no matter what it is trust me it won't hurt my feelings no matter what you got to say and sunday we're going to be doing the news we got some more exciting opus 13 stuff to reveal to talk about i'm excited i hope you're excited and i think any other shout outs oh yeah i want to give a quick shout out to my friend over there his name's uh the z man on twitch so if you just look uh the underscore z the, under, the uh, underscore man so the z man uh over on twitch go check him out he does some uh cool videos currently he's playing Yu-Gi-Oh! actually right now <laughs> i didn't even know he liked Yu-Gi-Oh! uh speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh!, we still do Yu-Gi-Oh! tuesday so we do open Yu -Gi -Oh! products still on tuesdays check out our last stream where we did uh blazing vortex we opened up a couple of boxes of those also, check out our deck profile that we did yesterday on Samurais. It was super awesome. Love it. Thank you to all of those who are all our new subscribers. Appreciate every single one of you. Every Once we reach number 100, we will do a giveaway worth all your while. I guarantee it. It will be awesome. One lucky person out of the 100, out of the first 100, will be eligible to win something. And I will ship even all to uh, over to Europe and to our chaps over there in the UK as well, if you are one of those viewers uh i think that's it i think i'm done babbling let's uh let's jump into this shall we okay here we are super excited beautiful looking box uh i just like ash so ash is gonna be right here um it's like a double that's weird huh <laughs> anyway we have of course here our tcg player here on the left side of course and remember that TCG player, uh, take with a grain of salt, um, right? Uh, prices are currently are all over the place. People are buying TCG stuff like crazy, which is awesome. Super awesome for us, honestly, uh, especially in the Final Fantasy community. Uh, yeah. Oh, also another announcement too, um, that this channel will continue, of course, to do be doing trading card game stuff on YouTube, but head over to our twitch and follow us because we're going to start playing uh final fantasy 14 the mmo i'm excited about that i hope you are that's going to be really fun to try uh and yeah it'll give us an opportunity just to kind of get to know the cards um, and get to know the goal yeah the characters in the cards here because i don't know all the characters i'm also thinking of trying to do some sort of weird trading card game mashup with the video game thing i don't know i don't know yet i'm thinking of other stuff uh oh and spoiler, next week, we're going to be doing a top eight. That's right. A top eight of Opus 12. Stay tuned for that. I've been working really hard on that video. Super excited. Okay, so let's jump in here. 
And of course, we've got the beautiful, wonderful Yuna card. Of course, I've talked about this card so many times. I featured it already, I think, in three or four deck profiles. This card is just super OP. I love it. Let's get that one safely off to the side. And what are we looking for? We wouldn't complain if we got another Shantoto. That's for sure. I think also we don't have Lock yet. We did on our original series. So this, just so you know, this is not uh, part of our series of opening Opus 12 to 1. This is away from that. This is just a Saturday special thing. Uh, but uh, we did open... I'm trying to check the quality. I like to save these boxes. And I think this box looks pretty good. There's a little bit of damage right here, but I saved that box. Uh, so... Uh, Oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. Yes, this is anyway just a side thing. Um, aside from our Opus 12 to 1. And uh, oh yes, we had opened up a Full Art Ash uh, in that series of opening Opus 12 to 1. But we are still looking for a Lock Full Print, which we, uh, Full Art Reprint, which we do not have. And a Lanny. We have opened up Shantoto on the channel as well. Go check that video out. Uh, so we're looking for Lanny, of course. Noctis would be wonderful. I don't think we have a Krill full art. Amaterasu, I actually have none of those full art. So any of those would be good. Uh, Beatrix would be good. I believe we have a Minwoo. I think we have a Finrer. Uh, Realm would be good. I think those really are our top ones. But any of these full arts are beautiful to have as well. Uh, I also hope you're subscribing because... I've got some ideas. I've got some great ideas, ladies and gentlemen, about how I'm going to start doing card openings a little more um, with some more pizzazz, I guess. Uh, and you can you can consider having Ash up there right now uh, in the upper right hand corner of this screen as like a spoiler to what might be coming down the road. So, yeah, uh, I want to I wanna do a little bit more than just watching me. I mean, hey, I love watching people opening trading card games, but I want to do something extra. I'm not sure yet, but something a little extra. Uh, and, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and jump in here. We got Shantoto. We'll probably move a little faster because we've opened up this box so many times on this channel. We got Remora, Mimic, Rama, Leon. Um... Something's holding on to Leon. Oh, a Dragoon. Diana. Oh, see. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Mia. Oh, we got to separate our rares from our commons. There are rares over there. Uh, We'll hide our rares behind Ash, I guess. Or we can put them right here. There we go. All right. Let's get some sort of order. We got a cute Chocolat, Chocolat, Chocolat. And Odin as our hero. And starting off nicely with a foil rare Princess Goblin. Actually, a really good card. Fantastic card. Uh, you'll see it used actually in Warrior of Lights or pretty much any anything that wants to search for a light forward, honestly. It's got a great, great effect. You think it'd be a downside because when a light forward enters the field, you put Princess Goblin into the break zone? But it's actually not because it lets you play another Princess Goblin, which lets you look for more lights. So it's actually kind of nice. A Capitan. Summoner. Okay, I need to get these somewhere in a place where I can like easily chuck these. Um, this pile's gonna get high. I don't know what to do with them. But one second. Let's see if we can get them here hidden behind somewhat behind Ash, I guess. There we go. There we go. Alright, we got Alexander. Oh, great, great common card, by the way. Used a lot in our in the uh lock. Um, it's got so many weird names. It's like the the new Opus Lock 12 variant that uses Ash as well. By golly, I do like this character. Nuge. A cute little Moogle. Koopa. Scholar. Elfinod. Cool. Cool, cool character. Got a cool snow. Looking all cool. Dusk. Another great card in your Warrior of Light builds currently in the meta. Amazing Sildra card. Boom! I love it. I love it. And Boba loves it. And we got a beautiful... Foil common Freya card as well. Card looks really good. Very, very good. Alrighty. <laughs> We're off to a pretty good start. I don't know about you. I'm really happy already with what we've gotten. We have yet to get our full art. That's okay. Let's go one, two, three, four. And this is our lock reprint. I just know it. So we've got an ogre. Looking all mean. Uh, Red Mage, Sid. Oh, Ifrit. 
Preach it, scholar. Object the Oaked. Oh, I knocked this. Very cool. I love the card. It's a nice rare. Another great Iris. Uh, sorry, rare card, Iris. Super fantastic card. Peace. Okay. And oh, nice. A legend, Yuna. I love. So I love getting these non foil, non full art ones because these are cards I use for play. I don't. I do not. Personally, I don't use any foil cards in play. And okay. A foil common machinist. Interesting. Get Yuna in here in our sleeve. That's good. That's really good to, know, to have there. Means another card for play. Let's pull from a different pile over here. I made three different piles, so I'm just going to kind of shift around. All right, let's go one, two, three. Um, okay, there's our card trick here. Cool. All right. Ekwar. Oops. Ekwar goes over there. These two. Uh, I do, I am planning on doing like another update in terms of my collection and of like singles that I've purchased. Uh, not necessarily things that I've pulled, but singles that I've purchased. Uh, there's been a, uh, a, full, uh, a few cool updates I'd like to show you all. Share that experience with every single one of you. Ooh, Emmett, Emmett Selch. Good card. Oh, nice. Okay. Riku, it's such a good, really good card here. Another good foil common card. Doing pretty good. I'm really happy so far with this box. Uh, and trying to think what else we're going to be doing that I want to talk to you about. Uh, I am super... I don't want to spoil anything right now, but I am just so anxious, so uh, excited to talk about the news. I'm sure you all have seen it coming from Square about Opus 13. Oh my gosh, so much good stuff coming. And if you are in the Seattle area, I did mention Zulu's Board Game Cafe... Uh, up in Bothell, Washington, which is a subsection of Seattle. It's uh, up north of the Seattle downtown area. And they uh, sell Final Fantasy TCG product. You can currently... Now, you might want to move fast because they're running out of pre-order. But you can sign up currently for Opus uh, 13 booster boxes. Shakira, Shakira! And you can also um stay tuned on their site because they once they get uh they're running on on numbers of some sort i don't i'm, I'm not a business person but once they get confirmation on a few things they will be also uh posting up opus 13 pre-release uh sets as well and those pre-releases are looking mighty fine mighty mighty fine uh especially that promo but i'm not gonna say anyone else because we're gonna be discussing that Tomorrow during our news section. So, oh, oh, Minwoo. Not as powerful, Minwoo, but still cute, Minwoo. A monk. Ah, ah, ah. Big fan of this card. This OP beast of a card is insane. And, oh, one second here. Excuse me. I hope I don't freeze my stream right now. I just realized I need to. Okay, it looks like we're still good. All right. Uh, so we got a Furion Rare, also Shakira, Knocked Hero, and a Gullif Hero Foil Card. Awesome, not too shabby. Pretty happy with that. All right. Also, we got uh, V-Day tomorrow, Valentine's Day. Whenever I say V-Day, it sounds more like, um, uh, it sounds like a doom and gloom day, huh? V-Day. But no, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And uh, if you have a significant other, uh, you know, go and uh, do something nice and do it safely. Please follow all CDC protocols, of course. Um, and if you do not have a SO, that's okay because it's also a time to just celebrate yourself. Go out there, do something nice for yourself. Oh, a beautiful realm. Check that out. Go do something nice for yourself. Ooh. Go get your, I'll tell you what, you have my permission, okay? Typically, I'm all about, like, health, you know, mind, body, soul, spirit, health kind of thing. But tomorrow, why don't you cheat? Go out there, get something, uh, get like a donut or, you know, go visit that pastry shop that you've always wanted to do. Yeah, enjoy yourself. You deserve it. Okay, we got Borgin and, ooh, a Glav. Is it Glav or Glaive? Glaive or Glav. 
Oh, I want to give a shout out to all of those who have been commenting as well on my channel, leaving me feedback as well as uh, all the corrections. I, I do, I really do greatly appreciate it. Do not feel bad. Do not feel like you are being overly critical. I got a thick skin. I'm still going to sleep like a baby. I appreciate all of it for sure. Um, especially when I'm confused on how certain card mechanics work. I admire and very much appreciate being corrected because when the zombie virus ends, I want to eventually get back into playing tournaments. And oh, nice. A Beatrix hero. And I want to know what the heck I'm doing when I show up to my first tournament. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, nice. Okay, foil hero Bart. Beautiful looking card. Love the way it looks. Uh, is there a full art version of that card? I think there is. I think so. All right, let's move to a different pile over here. And, oh, my, I just uh, threw that wrapper awkwardly over here to the side. I don't think you can see. No, you cannot see it. <laughs> you know, fix that here in a second. Common. Oh, yeah, another Alexander. Always happy to get those commons. Those are great cards. There's so many good cards in Opus 12. Really, really good set. Um... Oh, I did. I got. Do you? Could you imagine here? Um, I actually got a Opus um, Eleven booster box. Can you believe that? Found one. I found one that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Ooh, a beautiful Sid Privia hero. I love the way this card looks. I really, really do. Uh, I need to make a build that uses this card because I think it's also a great card overall. But yeah, so I actually found an Opus Twelve booster box. I did get an opus, I mean, opus 11. I did get an opus 11 um, pre-release box as well. And I'm working on trying to get another one because once I get through the series of opening opus 12 through one booster boxes, I want to open uh, 12 to one uh, pre-release sets, which is going to be a little harder, a little trickier to do. And by that time, we'll have opus 13 out as well. And so, yeah, I... I know there's a few of them that are really tough to get. Like, I think pre-release box set four or, or six, is it? I'm not sure. It's one of them that's kind of pricing hard to get. Mid-previa. And I'm not sure why. I guess they were, like, made in limited quantities, I guess. Um, But we'll try. You know, we'll try. And if it's something you all like, let me know. If that's something that sounds interesting to you all, like, seriously, let me know. I'd love to do it. Um... Also, any other ideas for uh, deck, I'm sorry, for uh, for videos, let me know. I'm, I'm all ears. I have already a few things in the making uh, that I've been working really hard on that we are going to be doing already. Uh, I've got more, a few more ideas. So I'm really loving it. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you are too. And if you don't, let me know. Like, I want feedback. I really want feedback. And please subscribe. Um, and there's a lot of viewers watching this. I appreciate you all. I would really appreciate the, the uh, subscription as well. And, oh, a nice, a Thancred Legend. Beautiful card. I love this card. And, okay, Gipple. A foil Gipple. Well, Gipple my nipple. Thancred. Uh, what a funny name, Gipple. All right. One, two, three, four, and five. Card trick. So far, we do pretty good. We've gotten two legends so far. I think just two, or was it three? I think it's two right now. By golly, and that mimic card, I'm telling you, I think it's really good. Moogle. Okay, there's Vane. Awesome. Another Shadow Lord card. Dusk, another good card. Okay, another Emmett Shulk. And our foil rare Furion. Now, we haven't gotten a full art yet. I hope this isn't another one of those boxes where. If you go watch our Opus 9 box, we typically, to my understanding, and at least this has been our case every single time, is that there have been two full arts per box. But when we did our Opus 9 box, we only got one full art, and it was a very much a womp womp moment the way we ended. It was funny, though. Bard, White Mage, beautiful looking card. Samurai, a Dragoon, Bell, Ram Cracker. Ooh, a pain in the butt. Olmia. And, oh, Regis, a beautiful looking card. Another legend, too, by the way. Such a great card. And, okay, a foil rare keys. Keys or case? Keith. Keith. I think it's keys. 
not keys like like keys keys but keys that's that's my that's my symbol for keys you know like when you're jingling keys all right enough of that uh let's see here one two three four and five all right red mage riku so today was very snowy in the seattle area uh i'm more in the city area typically snow doesn't settle here but it was nice and snowy it was kind of nice it was chilly but a nice chilly outside uh very snowy i went for a walk i got myself a nice coffee it was quite quite pleasant sid privia and oh 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 a foil legend len oh my gosh that's amazing I have, this is the first time I've pulled this card. That is outstanding. I have pulled this card uh, in its non-foil variant, but to get a foil one is amazing. I know she's at least on page two. Uh, very popular in Warrior of Lights currently, and also in another in a few other builds. But okay, 885. Not bad. Uh, and let's just read it together. So when Len enters the field, you place one Arise counter on... I'm sorry, not Len. Lena. On Lena. Um, for each backup you control. Uh, when a backup enters your field, place one Arise counter on Lena. Lena or Lena? Lena. I'm going to say Lena. And then you can dull it and remove X Arise counters from Lena. And choose one forward in your break zone if its cost is X plate onto the field. A fantastic card. So if she has... Essentially, if she has like three counters on her... You can remove the three and you can uh, uh, choose a, a cost three forward in your break zone and play it onto the field. Read that carefully though. If you if she has say five counters and you want to bring back out a four forward, you can't do that. It has to be a five forward. Um, uh, uh, yes, a five cost forward. I was about to say a five forward forward. Getting jumbled there on my, my it's like a tongue twister there. Voila. All right, uh, let's see where we at. Which pile did we go to? Let's go back to this pile here. This is turning out to be a pretty good box so far, eh? Eh? I like it. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Astrologian. Astrologian. I don't know why I struggle with that every single time. Hold on. Ooh, great ninja looking card. We do have a full art of that one too. It's a beautiful card. Ranger. Vein. Oh, oh, my Chocobo. My Chocobo. Uh, Chocobo. I said that one really weird too. Luna Freya. Ooh, Althea. Great card, by the way. Played a lot also in that new Lock Ash variant. And, okay, Gunbreaker. Is he like... Okay, he's in 14. Is he supposed to be like a... I guess when we start playing 14, we'll know more. But is he supposed to be like a variant of... Um, like is he based off a of Squall, right? With the Gunbreaker gun thing? Or is those are just like weapons you can get in the um, in uh, Final Fantasy XIV MMO? Guess we'll see. All right, so we got a dancer. Oh, nice Riku. Okay, Chocobo, Kujata, Boko Boko, Batman, Vivi, Aegis, great rare. Another great rare. Noctis. Let's see if we can get the full art of that one. Dusk, Inkidu, our hero, and. Oh, we got a foil legend krill. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. So we've already gotten two foil legends that are amazing. We got Lena and now we have Krill here. So Krill, this is not the full art one. That's okay. That's okay. We have pulled, I think this is our second or third of Krill foil that we've pulled. She's going up in price. She's really popular. So she's at 1397 roughly. Again, you use these with a grain of salt, kind of like a baseline. You want to compare it to other uh, markets as well. But yeah, Krill's just fantastic. We've talked about and featured this one so much. She basically is just a beast of a card. Lets you play, um, just lets you play uh, summons from your break zone and even your opponent's break zone. And you're probably like, well, our Mastis, what if I'm playing an Earth variant and I only have Earth uh, to pay for summons and my opponent has Lightning? Well, you can use cards like Cosmos, Chaos, uh, was it Kam 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 Kamari, um, uh, Tyro, Shantoto, all those, those, you can, yeah, you can basically use, uh, all those cards to help you also, you know, just, uh, pay for the cost of those summons. 
And the nice thing is that you don't have to use the summon as well. So if your opponent is, say, say your opponent brings out a Terra or gets a summon, you can counter by uh, putting on the stat Krill, target that summon, chain revolve, uh, I'm sorry, uh, resolves, and you put that summon in your hand and you don't let them use it. You don't even have to use it. And I believe it still gets removed from play even if you don't use it, which is pretty amazing. Eduardo, nice. And okay, Shakira. We should make a Shakira, Shakira deck. It's hips that don't lie. I know it's not Shakira. I just call these cards Shakira. It's Shakira XYZ. I have weird names for for quite a few of these cards. That's just me. That's just how I roll. Alrighty. So we got El Capitan, Summoner, a Soul, Minwoo, Ninja. I need to make the Ninja build again. I really like that deck. It's a really good one. Maybe we'll do a deck profile on that one eventually. Um, I think the next deck profile we do will be a little bit more of a for fun deck as well. Our last two were pretty like serious decks. You see a lot in tournaments. Oh, Quadro Queen. Great card. We do not have a full art of her yet. And boop. okay, we got Crystal Exarch Oil Rare. Awesome. Okay. Go from this larger pile. See if we can get that first full art now. We're running lower here. Getting a little nervous. We haven't gotten a full art yet. A little nervous. I'd be very sad if this was a non-full art box. And I think that'd be kind of weird. By golly! Paladin Leon. Batman. Graham Crackers. Love Graham Crackers. I haven't had those in forever. X-Death. Oh, there's Shakira X. Carbuncle. So cute. And bloop! Okay, Foil Hero Diablos. Not the best. Oh, that card's this card's actually being used a, quite a bit recently. So actually it's not a it's not a bad card. I mean it is a hero card. It's not a bad one. It's not like uh, the legend one, I think, of course, is just way better. It's costly though. Alright. So a dragon shh, a mimic. Roma, there's Gipple. Gipple my nipple, Batman, Black Mage, Princess Goblin. Realm, such a beautiful looking card. I hope we get the full art of this one. I love it. Uh, Amidatillion, cool. Did Previa, another great, beautiful artwork on this one. And bloop. Oh, another foil legend. Oh my gosh, we, we've gotten three foil legends out of this set. We are nailing it. It's not a full art, but that's okay. Uh, there he is. There he is. Uh, is it he or she? Forgive me. I'm not I'm not sure on this character. This is out of 11, so I'm not too sure on the character. Uh, remove up to four, uh, five forwards and or ice forwards in your break zone from the game. Then reveal the top five cards of your deck. Play one forward of the cost equal to or less than the number of removed cards among them onto the field. And return the others to the bottom in, uh, of your deck in any order. That card, this card is insane. It is so good. It is so, so good. And okay, about eight, eight, ten, a respectable, very respectable eight dollar ten cents. Okay, nice. There's Neo X Death right there. That card has seen a, a drop in play, Neo X Death, hasn't it? Uh, I still think it's a fantastic card though. And I actually had ordered quite a few of uh, foil and non foil variants of, the, of that card too, because it's pretty cheap right now. I think now. I may not be a professional, but in my opinion, IMP, Neo X Death, I think, will eventually bump up in price uh, and be a card that is eventually, you know, just becomes more and more popular. Help and nod, because it is a it's a pain in the butt to deal with, and it's a very good card. Burali, another great rare. I love this card. I don't know why Burali is not played at least by one right now in the current Lock Ash builds. It's just such a great card. And, ooh, a Lani, cool, Lani hero, and we got a bell, beautiful bell foil. Not bad, that was a good pack, I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, let's get our behemoth stack of commons off to the side here before they fall on over. And we'll start a new, start a new pile. All right, let's see here. 
one, two, three, four, five. And of course, at the end of this stream, we will review what we have pulled. Astrologian, astrologian. I don't know why I'm struggling with that word. But you turn off the camera and I can say that word perfectly. Or that name perfectly. Jigrin. Francis Goblin. Crystal Exarch. Quacho Queen. And bloop. Okay. Oh, Quacho Queen goes over here. We got ourselves a samurai. We actually just talked about this uh, this deck in our last uh, deck profile yesterday. And we used that backup because it's such a good backup. Wow. Surprisingly, no full arts yet, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So let's see what we get out of this pack here. We got a Cactuar. Oh, Riku. Dragoon. Gipple. Dang, Gunbreaker, Batman again, Bahamut. Also my favorite summons in the Final Fantasy CG. I mean, uh, game, not TCG, but the game. Uh, Gwyn, and okay, go love hero. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll take a foil burl eye. I love this card. I'm okay with that. Again, no, I'm a little surprised that more, more uh, builds aren't using burl eye. Especially in the Locked Ash variant, where you're basically reactivating backups like crazy. You can just wipe 3,000 across the board each time. It's so good. Then, I mean, at least one. Maybe not three, but at least one, I'd say. Rama, White Mage. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on that. Why that might be. Maybe it's consistency issues? I don't know. Shadow Lord, another good. This has seen a raise in popularity for sure. I, I keep talking about this card. This card is just a beast. The downside is supposed to be that your opponent can play one backup of cost two or less from their hand. Trust me, that ain't much of a downside. Diana, Iris, she's gone down in popularity, unfortunately. Oh, we got a Legend Neo X Death. So good. Oh my gosh, this box is incredible. <laughs> okay. And yeah, about $10.48. Oh my gosh, foils there have gone up in value on TCG Player. Whiff. Good thing I bought them at, I think I bought the foils at like eight or 10 bucks. All right, so this is good. And we get a foil rare Aegis. Okay, he's really good in our Warrior of Light builds as well. We should do a Warrior of Light deck profile as well. We'll probably do one of those eventually there. There's there's a few variants. Um, I am a fan of the, uh, the red and I think I want to say red and blue variants. I think it is. I think. I think. All right, let's go ahead and get back to our page one here. Machinist, Capitan, Warrior, White Mage, Samurai. I'd like to get another Amaterasu. That'd be great. Let's see if we can get another one of those. There's Jessica Alba, Alice, Amadillion, and Keto, and oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. I asked for an Amaterasu and I got an Amaterasu. And I got a full art Amaterasu. So fun little fact, this is in fact the first full, uh, full art Amaterasu that I've gotten there. I'm just getting some of that dust off of them. My hand's actually getting a little sweaty from that. Oh my gosh. By far, by far, hands down, the best summon Currently in the TCG, this card is just OP. It is so good. Cancels effects, and if it's a four, deals 8,000 damage. It's just ridiculous. Also, remember, it can cancel effects of any uh, auto build. I'm sorry, any auto ability. Any auto ability. It is not specific to forwards, right? So keep that in mind. If it's a forward, it just does the 8,000 damage. It's super great. Okay, it's not here. What the heck? I think because it's sold out. It is sold out. So who knows? I'd say uh, eBay it and do some research to see what it's at right now. So who knows? Let me know if you know what the value is on that, on average, that average value. I am so happy to get one of these. I have yet, that is, this is my first full art of Amaterasu. I'm so happy to have that. That is so cool. Okay. So that worked. Amaterasu is the best. Uh, excuse me. See, I, I believe you're. That is DJ uh, uh, F Alpha, I believe. I hope I said that correctly. 
Um, yes, Amaterasu is the best. Nude, Moogle, my Google. Leol, Shakira, the Y variant. Ekron, ooh! Esh, uh, Eshen, Esh, oh my gosh, Eshen, Esha, and Tarl. Uh, love this card. This is a card that I'm is seeing more play right now as well. It's just bounce back to your hand, and you play a, a card of cost seven or less from your hand onto the field. It's really good. It's really, really good. And the nice thing, it doesn't have to go to the break zone. It just comes right back, so you can play her again. So good. Or discard her for CP if you need it. Yoink! Okay. Oh! Oh, so beautiful. That is really good. Okay. It's not a full art, but it's still nice. I love the art on this. It's so beautiful. Okay. We'll take it. We will gladly take that card. That was another really good pack. Cool. And let's pull from a different pile. So we got one full art so far. Uh, hopefully we get another one. Ever since the scare of our uh, Opus 9 opening where we only got one full art from that box i'm like a little concerned now i was thinking because i think we consistently have gotten two full arts per box which i thought was the standard i don't know that or we've just been pulling really really great on the channel oracle of light shakira y peace oh a finrer awesome the second best summon in my opinion out of the set and plays well with cards like Krill and uh, Shadow Lord because it lets you bring it right back from the break zone. So good. And, oh, okay. Foil Rare Vein. We'll take them. Not a bad rare. We'll take it. We'll take it. Good pack overall. We got Fen Rare. We'll take them. Be nice to get a... I think we have a... Oh my gosh, I'm not even sure we have a full art version of Fen Rare. I gotta go look. I don't, maybe, maybe we do. Maybe we got a full art version back there. Okay, and let's do their card trick once again here. So we got one full art. Uh, we got Remora. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do this really quickly. There's a reason, too, why I put Ash on screen. Oh, my gosh, I'm making a mess of my cards here. Uh, put the full art right there for now. For now, just for now. Yeah, we're going to be doing some cool stuff eventually with uh, how we do... Uh, deck openings because this is great and I love watching people do uh, I'm sorry pack openings I love watching people do pack openings booster pack openings box openings you know I love doing it traditional way is, is great it's fine but I want to do something new and oh my gosh why not we'll take another Amaterasu <laughs> that is fantastic great and oh okay a foil common vocal you can't be mad at that it's so adorable um but yeah, we're going to be doing something um, you know, a little different. It's not, you know, I, I don't want to talk it up too much because you all might be like, meh, whatever. But I'm excited about it. And I want to make it a little more interesting. Uh, because trust me, just like when I watch other people opening boosters, sometimes I'll just kind of like, I, I like to skim ahead really quickly. Uh, if it's like already been recorded or it's just uploaded. I like doing these live first off, but then... You know, when I do watch others later, I just fast forward or go through the end if they do reviews, which we do as well at the end of our videos. But I want to make it a little bit more, um, you know, something you could uh, watch a little longer. Argy Hero. Nice. Oh, okay, sure. We'll take a foil and a non-foil version of you. You are welcome. You are welcome to come along. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, let's go with this other pile here. So we've gotten six, we got six more packs to go. Got one, two, three, four. There's get our card trick there. Okay. A bard. I think if I was born in those like medieval times, I'd probably be a bard. Right? Those are the musician people type, right? I was a musician for quite a big portion of my life, actually. A realm. Okay. We got a non foil. I'll we'll take it. And... Eduardo followed by whoop. oh nice Eshin Tarl. I'll take it we have pulled the full art of this card this is our first foil version I believe so that is nice that is a good addition to our collection not too shabby all right one two three four and five here we go 
We got Riku, White Mage, Freya, a Mimic, Black Mage, Gunbreaker. Hey, Aegis. Yep, you're good. Yep, you're good. Yep, you're good. Oh, Forza. All right, a Motorsport card. Not bad. And a Summoner Foil Common. All right, well, you know, not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. We do have quite a few of these Forza cards, which is not a bad card. Uh, it's a bit different. You can't cast him, but there are other ways you can you can cheese him out, which is pretty amazing. So, overall, not a bad card. Forza there just has a bunch of dust on him, though. Come on, Forza. Clean yourself up there, sir. All right. Sometimes some of these cards um, come, like, with so much dust on them for some reason. From the manufacturer i don't i don't know what is happening there they're definitely not made in like those uh cpu factories right where they're all clean clean air uh blaze you know it's like what are you talking about i'm gonna ask this yeah i'm sorry i got an ocd problem so i notice these things like like legitimately have an ocd problem it's, it's gotten better trust me it's gotten better uh a lot of things to help my help me tone that down but i still notice them but we got a we got a non-foil legend emperor. These cards are freaking fantastic. And if you go look at my deck profile where I did a Ritz March variant with uh with the emperor, not this emperor, but a emperor, it's amazing. I did try to fit in this variant of the emperor into that build, and I might not might, might do another build as well, but these emperor cards are ridiculously good they basically you can't get rid of them once one hits the field like your opponent is just kind of just uh gonna have to face the pain of a constant emperor on the field and oh nice and we get a foil beatrix Ooh, that was a great pack we'll take it beautiful card both of these beautiful cards art's fantastic on this all right we got four more packs to go We've only gotten one full art. Oh, excuse us, Boba. Let's see if we can get another full art. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Blaze. Tiny Dancer. Kujaka. Blue Mage. Freya. A ninja. Okay. Glaive. Kira. Luna Freya. Hero Magusa. It's a good card. And okay. Foil Common Dancer. Tiny Dancer, old Elton John. Shoutouts to Sir Elton John. Was Elton John ever knighted? I think Elton John was knighted. Right? I think so. What does it mean to be knighted nowadays? Right? It's not like you can walk around with a sword. That's just weird. People still walk around with swords? I hope not. It's just weird. Anyway, what am I talking about? Let's get back to the game. Seriously. All right, let's get Vayne, Necron, uh, Bart, and oh, we got a full, a full art Lonnie. Woo! This was definitely one of our targets. That's a great, okay. I'm super happy with this box. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 All right. We still didn't get our lot, but we have gotten a Shantoto. We've pulled Ash. Now we've gotten Lani um, and an Amaterasu. We do have a Beatrix and a Minwu, I believe, actually. I'm not sure about my Krill. I need to go back there and look. I think I have a full art Krill and uh, don't have a full art Noctis. But this is a great pull. Oh, I'm so happy to get this one. The art is amazing. So, so good. All right. The card's great, too, by the way. That card is a beast of a card. In fact, we're going to click on there and we're going to look at the median price and we're going to read it really quickly, too. So, Lanny, first off, comes in. Oh my gosh. That is so expensive. According to TCG Player, this is what we got right here. Oh my gosh. That went up in price immensely. That used to not be that high. Okay. So, uh, when Lanny enters the field, your opponent removes the top card of the deck from the game face down. So, keep in mind, they do not get to look at the card. And I actually got some amazing feedback, and I want to give a quick shout out to, let's see if I can find his name, his, her name, uh, to uh, uh, Jugador uh, Jota, I think is the name, if I'm saying that correctly. So he was telling me, all right, so your opponent doesn't look at the card face down, obviously. Now you can look at it uh, and or cast it at any time you can normally cast it. 
Uh, and basically, you treat it like it's your card the entire turn. Uh, the cost for casting is reduced by two, and you can and it, uh, and it can be paid using CP of any element. Uh, and I don't actually. And let me correct myself here. So you can. It's not even until end of turn. You can actually. It seems like you can just hold on to it permanently until you want to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. This card should not just be a hero card. This card needs to be a legend. What the heck? Okay, this card just got better in my head. Okay. I like this. I like this card a lot. All right. Okay, so that makes our second full art out of the box. Uh, I doubt there's a third one. But we got two more packs to go. Super excited, so we can still get some other cool stuff. So let's go ahead and... Let's just keep it going. Let's keep it going. That Lani card. Oh my gosh. So good. What the heck? All right. Just the art. Shoot Moogles. Rare. Okay. I hope we can get like some more Moogle support and make like a cool, cute, competitive Moogle build. Rango. And okay. Behemoth. Oh, the art's cool. We'll take it. We'll take it. Not a bad. Oh, oh Straggle just went for a... Uh... Went for a ride there. Excuse us, sir. Okay. Here we go. Our final pack of the box for today. And then we'll do a review, of course, of what we have just pulled. Super excited. And, of course, let's get the volume up. Let's get a little more dramatic with this if we can. I'm going to try to get the volume up here a little bit here. A little bit more. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We have Summoner. Remora. Dan Toto, Nuge, Soul, Ultros, Behemoth, Tyrion, Snow, Shakira, Shakira. Oh, we got a lock legend. Oh, not bad. Oh my gosh. This card again, another top card currently. Oh, so good. So, so good. So let's see what lock is here. Non-foil, regular locks, about $8.38. Amazing. Again, this card is OP. This card is basically choose uh, up to two of the four following actions. Um, one, uh, disgrace your opponent. Two, make your opponent feel bad about themselves. Three, have your opponent really reconsider playing the game. And four, make your opponent quit. I'm just kidding. That's not what it is. Okay, that's not what it is. It's when Lock enters the field, select up to two of the four following actions. Your opponent discards one card from their hand. Choose up to two characters, dole them, and freeze them. Choose one forward to cost six or more. Break it. Choose one monster. Break it. It's such a good card. Okay, last one. Let's get dramatic again. <laughs> Knocked. Okay, not bad. It is a foot and it is a hero. Not a bad way to end it. We'll take it. Get the volume back down on our, on our stream here. That was a good way to end. That See, that's the way you end a last pack. Like that. Not too bad. Okay. So, let's do our quick review of what we've got here. And, oh, let me get off to the side. So, we won't, we won't do, of course, a review of our... We don't need to go through our rares. We don't need to do that. We've, we've already looked at those. There's a lot of great rares. I mean, there's some great commons in here, too. But we don't need to look at all those. But let's look at first what we've got here for our non-foil variants. Uh, and we want to specifically pull off to the side our legends. So, of course, we've got Locke here looking amazing. Strago, Abarts, uh, Magisa, the Emperor Legend, Forza, Motorsport, Eduardo, Argy. Amazing Amaterasu. I'm putting him with the legend. I don't care. Fenrir, that you're going with the legend too. I don't care. Eshintaro, yeah, you're going to go there too. I don't care. And Kidu, of course, Neo X Death Legend. That's amazing. Guluf. Pacho Queen. I do like this card. Maybe we'll do something with this card. We'll see. Uh, Alani, okay, Lani, you're going. You need to be a legend. You are incredible. Sid Previa, Carbuncle, Pacho Queen, Eduardo, and Kidu. Althea, another really good hero, but you're going to stay a hero. The Previa, Regis Legend, Emmett, Shulk. Thancred Legend. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of good cards out of this one. Mid-Previa. We definitely made our money back with this box. 
uh diabolos beatrix beatrix also a really good fantastic card um she was featured in one of my builds as well i really like her a uh, borgen knocked um agisa hero okay michelle fantastic wonderful yuna legend Dildra, another great card you're gonna go over here with the legends and odin okay so let's go ahead and so these are our notable cards maybe we'll, maybe we'll start calling this the notable stuff so we'll go ahead and put this pile here for now we'll, we'll divvy this out here in just a second okay so for our foils a knocked behemoth lani full art oh my gosh so good dancer beatrix amazing eshin tarl amazing you get to go over here too are ye Oko, a beautiful looking realm card just love the way that looks Aegis, burlai fantastic not the best looking of the cards but still is a great card Demurai, bell another great legend siltius so good uh, i need to make a build with this with that card diabolos a crystal exarch another shakira a beautiful looking krill card so good gunbreaker beautiful foil lena oh my gosh first time we've pulled this one really happy with that peace Ferion. um just felt like something's holding on Ferion. nope people my nipple ogre mid preview beautiful art there and bart's glaive Glof, shakira y riku machinist oh i'm skipped one here freya and princess goblin really good rare all right so let's get this off to the side and of course definitely we have our amazing amaterasu and of course our promo len uh yuna so let's go ahead and lay all these out so we can get a good look view. So we got Yuna up here. We've got uh, Amaterasu. We'll put Amaterasu there as like our, I think that's what will be our featured card. We'll probably go over here or something. I don't know. We'll see. That's where, that's where it's going for now. Of course, we've got Lena, a Krill. Yeah, so good. So, so good. Here's our other full art. Looks amazing. Oh, oh. Actually, I think we can see if we can make some more room here. I think we can do this. Boop, there we go. There we go. There we go. And we can do Sildra, another Yuna, Sancred. Yep. Lanny, Neo X Death. Running out of room here. We just got so many great cards out of this set. It was, I mean, out of the box. So, um,. There we go. Maybe we should. Maybe we need to hide Ash here, huh? Let's see here. Let's see if we can hide her. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. All this is our, I think, in my opinion, most notable cards that we got out of this one box. It was an incredible box. I am so happy. Our beautiful full art Amaterasu and full art Lani. Fantastic. All these here, including this Krill as a foil here. All our non foils, which are still amazing cards. I'm super happy with this. I hope you're happy. I hope you're doing well. Be kind. Be loving to others, but even to yourself. Have a good, safe weekend. Tune back tomorrow. We're going to be doing some Final Fantasy TCG news. Some exciting stuff to feature. Again, remember, from me, from Boba, you're all wonderful. You are all beautiful, and you are all loved. Until next time, Bye bye